Okay, so today we're looking at the Yungno Wireless Flash Trigger. And what it is, is actually a set of two transceivers that's included in the pack. And there's also an N3 cable. Now, you can see here we're in a multi-level car park. And we just did a simple test. I just wanted to find out uh, pretty much in a real life scenario what the distance would be because uh, in the manual it's rated at 130 meters. So um, just had one of the transceivers hooked up to the cannon on the left of the screen that you can see there. And then it's also hooked, the other transceivers hooked up on the flash which is with that guy walking away. <laughs> just wanted to see how far it'll go. This transceiver works for both Canon and Nikon cameras. Now, while that guy is walking away from us, let's have a closer look at the actual transceiver itself. So you can notice on the front of one of the transceivers, there's a port that you can actually plug in the N3 cable into. So the cable goes into there and the other end of the cable plugs into your camera. So you can actually use the other transceiver to remote trigger the actual camera itself to take photos so it's it's not just for flash you can also use it for your camera as well all right so I've got the guy with the camera moving backwards now because the guy with the flash has already reached the very end of the car park and the flash was still going so I wanted to see really how far it would work so we pretty much went backwards and we got right to the end of the car park, both ends, and it was still going, so I was very impressed with that. Just a thing to note, this transceiver set does not have TTL, so all it does is sends a signal whether or not um, the flash or the camera itself needs to fire. But um, yeah, I was just really impressed that at that distance, in a multi-level car park, that it was still firing, no misfires. And it was interesting, one of the guys at the at this um, scrobing session was asking me, well, in what situation would you use that distance when you're strobing? And um, <laughs> I didn't know how to answer that one because I, I pretty much strobe at weddings or um, car photos and things like that, but I've never had the need to actually use remote strobing at that distance. So, but you know, at least it's nice to know that if you needed that distance, it's there as well. So apart from the range being quite impressive, we also used it around cars and models and not once did it misfire at all. So very impressed with that. So that's the Yungno wireless flash trigger system. It's fantastic if you're starting out um, with strobing and off-camera flash photography um, or you're already doing that you need something a bit more reliable this is a great system to have. Yeah.